guys. Okay, so the story goes, I bleached my hair at home and I thought that might um, help me to disguise my gray hair and I put a color over that. And of course my hair was wrecked, so wrecked that I've had to chop into it. And now I've got these stupid little curly bits here. Um, yeah, and I just felt terrible. <laughs> what I'm gonna do today is tell you how I've managed to kind of restore a bit of shine and uh, it just feels like normal hair again. I'm not saying I've got the best hair in the world, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, but what I am saying is if you're suffering from um, just your hair's just not doing what you want, it's thinning, you might have bleached it, you've got damage, all of those things can make you feel so demoralised. Um, these are some simple things you can start to do um, to get yourself back onto the road to recovery. First tip is try to stop washing your hair as frequently, which I know is really difficult. I don't feel right unless my hair's washed. I can't style it really, um, unless I've freshly washed it. Um, but what you're doing is you're washing away the natural sebum. Um, the natural sebum on your scalp is the oils on your scalp, which are the right pH for your hair to strengthen it and just nourish it. Um, if you're washing it too often, you're just washing that away. You'll find if you can cut down the amount of time you wash your hair, um, then when you do wash it, it will be less dry. And, um, and you might see a bit of an effect from just letting those natural oils sit for a bit. I'm down to about twice a week. Um, as I say, that won't suit everybody, but it really has helped make a difference when I do wash my hair. The second thing I've been doing is um, using an aloe vera gel. Now I've bought this aloe vera gel by Blue and Marine and it's 100% natural. Um, what I do is I'll smother my hair in this at night, let it dry, and it does dry. It dries so it doesn't look greasy or anything, it just completely dries on the hair. But it just gives the hair a natural kink, a natural curl, um, which I've actually learned to like. So um, instead of washing my hair as often, sometimes I'll just put that on at night and just leave it and wake up with a different hairstyle, like much more curl, much more bounce. Um, and it gives me an extra day really. And also it nourishes your scalp and your ends. It's got lots of vitamins in aloe vera. Um, yeah, and it's just worth having a go with that really. This one's really natural because the ingredients are just aloe vera leaf, seaweed, uh, potassium sorbate, which is a food grade preservative and just vitamin E. So that's got, you know, not a lot of nasties in that one by Blue and Marine. Um, and yeah, um, that will just prime your hair um, into a better condition and then you'll be able to get away with a heavier oil treatment later on. The next thing I would say is at this stage, don't stress too much over ingredients in your shampoo and your conditioner. Now, some people really hate using silicones um, and all the nasty, and I'm the same. Um, but at this stage, you really don't want to worry. You just need to get a shampoo and conditioner combo that makes your hair feel soft. So once you've shampooed it and conditioned it, you want it to feel um, like you can easily run your hands through it in the shower. Because if it's not, you ain't gonna style that when you get out and you'll be upset. So um, just a really nice combo of shampoo and conditioner at the moment, just so that you can work with your hair once you're out of the shower. Now, Aldi do some really nice conditioners. You know, it doesn't have to cost a lot. Sometimes when you're in the shower and you're washing your hair, you're still tangled at the end and you just, you can't really, it might feel squeaky clean, but it doesn't really feel like you're gonna be able to kind of brush it out. Find a combo that, that will allow you to do that and don't worry too much at the moment about all of the ingredients. You can sort that out later. And you're gonna wanna probably wear your hair up on the days between washes especially if you're trying to wash your hair less. Now, putting your hair up can break the hair around the crown part. Um, you know, I wear my hair up a lot and there is a lot of damage from that. Um, but if you invest in a snag-free hairband, which is one of these funky ones that looks like an old fashioned telephone cable, if you know what I'm on about, if you're old enough to know what I'm on about, um, then yeah, it doesn't uh, kink the hair and you'll find that you don't get as much hair wrapped around the hairband when you take it out. So if you're gonna wear your hair up, then um, try and pick up a snag-free hairband. This one's kind of common sense, but try not to brush your hair when it's wet because when your hair is wet, that's when it's prone to the most breakage. Um, I know you're gonna wanna need to comb your hair through when you get out of the shower. So if you can, uh, maybe use a wider tooth um, comb or something. This isn't particularly wide, but it's just a little bit more gentle on wet hair. And also don't do it like from the root down, uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna break it even more. If you can't get the comb through your hair, um, just try brushing the ends out first and then move up with the comb. Um, and you'll just find that there's a bit less breakage doing it that way. So if you wanna brush your hair when wet, then try and avoid it. If not, then a wide tooth comb is a good investment. Now I like to use a good hair cream on my hair, not only just as a heat protectant, but um, also to tame the flyaways after I've dried my hair. Um, but finding a good one can be quite tricky if you've got fine hair because sometimes they just make it more oily, um, you know, limp. 
so it's difficult to find one that doesn't do that um, I've been using this one which is photo 9 um, this is 17 pounds so it's really quite expensive in my opinion for the amount that you get um, but there's nine plants in there and that's absolutely fabulous um, but as I say I've run out and I didn't really want to pay another 17 pounds for this you know another tube of it but I did try this one instead now this is nature tints anti-aging cc cream and this is available in holland and barra also it's on amazon and it's seven pounds so it's ten pound cheaper um, than photo nine and you get a lot more in there um, and yeah i think it's really good for the money and it's comparable i think this is all natural and plant-based um yeah it's just really nice yeah it's it's quite a light you know serum it's not greasy it just you know it doesn't make the hair greasy either and it dries on the hands like there's no grease or, or residue left so you know it's not going to do that to your hair um it's just really nice it, i mean my hair drinks it up it absolutely loves it so if you're looking for a really decent hair cream for not a lot of money then i really would recommend this is my new favorite um yeah and i think i'll be using that for some time obvious one that everyone always says is try and avoid heat styling you can't avoid heat styling if you're like me if you avoid heat styling your hair just dries into a ball of frizz can't do anything with it not going to happen i cannot avoid heat i use a hair dryer and i've tried to use it on medium low heat not the full heat um, with a round brush um but because i'm not really very good at that i'll also use this instead of straighteners now and this is an old-fashioned vintage revlon hot brush uh, which blows hot air from these vents here um and yeah it just it doesn't give you that straight look i mean i've got kinks in the hair so it's not like i've used straighteners but it does tame the hair into something kind of workable there are metal plates here but you're not clamping down as i say and getting that hot spot you can move it quite freely and quickly through the hair um and it would just give you a bit of a style um it won't look as you know polished maybe as straighteners but it will maybe just save you a bit of heat damage for whilst your hair's trying to recover now I recommend a coconut oil treatment for hair but not from really damaged hair. My hair when it was really at its worst didn't like coconut oil at all. It just was hard to wash the coconut oil out. It was flat, it was fine and limp and it just made matters worse. So what you've got to do is prime your hair to be ready for the oil. So if you've been using aloe vera, you've been washing it less, you've been putting a good CC cream through it or a hair cream through it, you know, you've been, you know, conscious about your heat styling, then you'll find your hair will get ready for a heavier oil treatment. And that is great because it really brings the hair back to some kind of softness and malleability and you can really feel the difference. I use this um, Premier Nature coconut oil. It's fractionated coconut oil, so it's already runny. Um, if you have got the solid coconut oil then just pop some of that in a bowl microwave it for a, a few seconds wait for that to cool and then just put that on your hair leave that for up to one to two hours um, before shampooing your hair as normal this one's already done for you so that's not you know that's quite easy to use it's got the pump tip as well um yeah and i've just found that that has brought my hair really back to life it's made the ends softer um coconut oil is great for hair generally but like I say if your hair is too damaged then you might want to hold off on that and wait till you've primed it enough to be able to take a good coconut oil treatment and when you can do a coconut oil treatment um, you'll find that you'll start to really enjoy your hair again. Now it's a good idea as well to regularly trim the ends of your hair just while you're growing out the damaged parts just while you want the nice bit at the top to be more because that's the fresh hair that's going to be the healthiest bit of hair you've got on your head the ends are old and they will need trimming either go to the hairdresser and get a small trim or if you're like me and don't want to pay loads of money for a tiny bit off the end maybe try and trim your hair at home um, now how I do it is I just this isn't very professional at all and I apologize but you divide it into two I put a hairband in each bit and pull that hairband down to the same level and I just go along and trim each bit and then once you've done that if you put it to one side do the same thing but in one section if there's any long bits remaining trim that and then around the other side as well you go down and then you trim any long bits and that should give you kind of a uniform trim um, you can take off a, a little bit at a time it just keeps the ends more healthy so if you're brave enough have a go and try and trim your own hair as if not more important is getting the right nutrients and, and minerals your body needs to give your hair a bit of a kickstart in its growth. Um, currently, 
I've been using these um, root rehab tablets. Now these are by Harvey and Coco, um, and you get 60 capsules in there. They're not vegetarian, unfortunately. Um, they do contain fish oil. Um, I'm currently a pescatarian, so um, they're okay, but I'd rather they didn't contain any animal products, if I was honest. But you get 60 cap capsules. It's about a month's worth, but it does say on the back that if you visit the website, you can pick up your next bottle for free. So that's two months really for 15 pounds. And actually, you know, that might just give your hair the kickstart it needs to, to be stronger at the root. I've found that I, I have got um, some new grow hair, regrowth here, a little bit coming through, um, which doesn't really happen normally. Um, so I don't know how much of that is placebo or how much of it is a combination of everything I've been doing, but my nails have certainly gone mental. I've bitten my nails for years and they're growing really strong now. So um, these guys have got to be doing something, right? Um, there's lots of good reviews for them on Amazon. Check them out. I really recommend them. But as I say, if you're a vegetarian, then there are alternatives that you can pick up. Okay, so that's it for the tips today that I've got for you. I hope you've found some of it useful. Even if one person tries something in this video and it helps them, then that my work is done because I just know how demoralizing it is when your hair won't do what you want it to, when it's already fine and you're losing it every day and it just feels like horrible. Um, it's a horrible feeling and I get that. So these things have helped me. Hopefully they help you too. If you liked the video, like and subscribe if you'd like to and um, I'll see you next time.